welcome to my bed again. I think this is just where I'm gonna like, you know, chit chat about obvious things that you know from the title of this video. We're diving into the Instagram pics, the archives even, and I'm gonna digest the behind the scenes of some of my pictures. This used to be like a thing on TikTok for a while where people would share the like actual behind the scenes or like the real story of how the Instagram photo was taken and I think it's so funny and it helps like, you know, bridge the gap between online reality and actual reality. So yeah, here's to explaining my Instagram posts. <laughs> I just want a disclaimer out here that if you are also featured in any of these photos and I've like covered your face or whatever, I'm doing it with full intention of respecting you, your privacy, and the fact that we probably no longer talk anymore. So let's just jump right into it. I honestly, I've only like skimmed because I didn't want to like spoil it for myself, but I think I want to go like kind of year by year and we can kind of get into it as the, the further we get back, okay? Let me pull up my Instagram, Mercedes Sanctuary, if you're not already following. I think it's also funny, I haven't changed my Instagram handle to Sadie K yet because it was Sadie K before I was engaged, but then when um, Girly Pop was like messaging me and sending me mean things, I was like, I don't really want to see this, I don't want her to see my stuff, so I changed my handle in hopes that that would like help alleviate some of the um, hate that was coming in, and I just never changed it back, so that's how Mercedes Sanctuary came to be, Sanctuary being like, my safe space, leave me the p alone, um, but as you guys have already seen, that bridge has been built and is totally fine, and we're both... Uh, have moved on from that, but let's let's go here. I don't really know. Here are these cicadas. Okay, behind the scenes. The first picture. Honestly, I'm gonna do Green River Dye Day. This photo, okay. The story behind this. I woke up at like 6 a.m. that day, or at least I did, because I'm a freaking psychopath that wakes up that early up naturally. But we got up so early and like we're already buzzing at like 10 a.m. And like this part, great. Seeing the river turn green, cool, fun, little boats, bzz, dumping shit in the water turns green. Ooh, magic, nice, cool. Then we're like, let's go to the parade, right? Fucking crowd crush, fucking the scariest crowd I've ever been in. But it's like worse than a concert because there were small children also in this crowd and we're literally like, just, you know, freaking insanity, and it was actually way scary. My caption, feeling luckier than ever these days, I was feeling luckier than ever to be stuck in a fucking mob crowd of adults and small children that day. <laughs> actually low-key, I was in like a situation ship at that point, and I was like so infatuated with the idea, right, that I was like, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky that somebody can't do the things they said they were gonna do. I'm so lucky that I'm getting let on again. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky though, for real. I'm really, I am lucky. But that's the behind the scenes of that picture, okay? Next one I need to go off is the San Francisco picture, okay? So random, just me solo shot in front of the Golden Gate Bridge, okay? How did that happen? So why was I even in San Francisco in the first place? Well, at my job, my last job, I was working for a tech company out of San Francisco. So they flew all of us out there to meet in person for the first time. And we got to do a tour of San Francisco. Our tour guide was like, anyone want a solo shot? I'll get a picture of you. And I was the only one who went up. I started the trend at first because nobody wanted to, but I was like, me. 24 at the time year old will gladly get a solo shot here. That yeah, was kind of awkward because I was definitely the youngest of my co-workers and it was just like a kind of weird vibe in general and so oh, it is what it is. <laughs> more, more tea about like people I'm seeing. This picture, okay? Cute, right? Cute. Cute little bookstore, exile bookstore. It's right across the street from the beam. It's like so cute in there. Um, but why was I there that day? Like, and the rest of that, the rest of that, um, carousel is, like, all over downtown in Wrigleyville. Okay, what was I doing? 
Oh, just reconnecting with the old high school fling. Just reconnecting with the old high school fling. No big deal. Is, is he also gonna be a liar and leave me on? Yes. Yes, he is. But, 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 it was cold enough to wear a coat. It was cold enough to wear a coat. Oh, Like, I think, honestly, my favorite thing is to post shit and then, like, have to reflect on it and be like, wow, that was when I was talking to that person, but there's, like, no evidence of it. Just, like, the scenes. Had the camera panned a little to the left or the right. <sighs> Jump scare. Um, so yeah, that's kind of funny. Um, we had, like, he had gotten a work contract here and was here temporarily, and so it was just, like, a fun little, fun little fling. Um, um, let's see here. Ooh, this one's really fun. Another night, another amazing show. I'm so this is just a picture of a chandelier, um, but the carousel goes on to show you the always show. Which, that whole night was a really good time. I had a lot of fun, but like that crowd I was with at that point in time, like I had just got to the city. I was just trying to make new friends and meet people and I met the most like interesting <laughs> group of gals. Uh, I'll leave it at that because I have a feeling that some of them are still watching and if you are, I don't miss you. <laughs> You guys are mean! Something else. So, I only peace be with you, peace be with me. E-L-E, -E, you know? Really funny in hindsight, because it was definitely not an amazing night in, in hindsight. It was very false, like, anybody who's been in Duluth knows like what that's about, but I think the funniest part is that I made two posts within like a month, or no, summer 2022 photo dump, and Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Five of the photos in this carousel are all while I was with the OG situation, which I think is hilarious. Like, not pictured. Um, even Camby Gooseberry falls with me, but yeah, not, not photoed. And then the, I'm not even being dramatic, this one. Okay, this one. This one was like, I knew that the, just, everything around me was kind of ending socially. Like that group of girlies was like, I was separating myself from them. This whole situation with that guy was like on the way out the door. So I was just really going through it. And I was like, you know what I need to do? Take a cool pic in a way that maybe people wouldn't think it'd be a cool pic. Like I think that's one of my favorite things photography wise is to like create sets out of nothing basically. It encourages you to be creative, it encourages you to be inspired and to do things, right? Like when you look at this, you're like, okay, yeah, maybe she's in a window. What's this plastic sheet? Oh, it's just her shower curtain. She just took a shower, that's where the water droplets came from. That's not that special, but it kind of looks like it in that moment. But, all right, let's get to some juicy shit. I want the real tea. <laughs> let's talk about this one, okay? I got my 23rd birthday trip. 23 trips around the sun completed. This last year has taught me more than I could have ever imagined. I'm stronger, smarter, and more determined than ever before. Here's another year with more memories to be made. I think it's funny as I'm like smiling and happy, right? I think this was actually before everything like went totally fucking sideways, but my roommate at that time like off the chain. I'm not even gonna give that time of day, but like posting that on my birthday being like, well, another trip around the sun. Like simultaneously, I'm literally in my mom's hotel room sobbing about how I need to move out now and how I'm literally leaving Duluth now and now is the time after five years, it's right now. <laughs> that was what was happening in the background of that photo, which is really fucking funny to me. In hindsight, right? In hindsight. In the moment, not funny at all. Not funny at all. This picture, this is funny. Really funny because this was taken actually by a guy that I met in Duluth who, you know, just like, all I can really say about it, but this cute picture of me. And I was like, oh my God, I need to post this. 
Nico said, if it's fuck me, then it's fuck you. Okay, okay. Bitches be tripping. We are not cool. And that's the next part? I don't know. But funny. Funny story. Okay, well, these were for my engagement. Like, this one, though, in the red coat. Like, like there's, it's not pictured here. I think it's on a story somewhere. But there's a picture of me, like, standing on the rocks. And I'll, like, I still have memories of, like, stumbling a little bit and like my life flashing before my eyes because I was like I'm gonna fall off this cliff right now off of Palisade Head. Could you imagine I'm like you know what I need to do go take some sexy pictures on a cliff and then I accidentally fell in absolutely not absolutely <laughs> who the fuck is here Go away. I'm not expecting anybody or any packages. I hate this shit. It sketches me out. Anyway, back to my Instagram. So that's kind of funny. I almost fell off a cliff that day. As seamless as it looked. Oh, this is another good one. My 22nd birthday. I think this is gonna be all just about my birthday posts, but um, these ones of like me in the lake. Okay. <laughs> these were photos that my ex-fiance had taken on FaceTime that morning because that was the only time he talked to me that day was at like fucking six in the morning and then I never heard from him again. It was great. I love that. It's because he was just like with somebody else. Um, but really funny in hindsight because yeah. Mm. Okay, here we go. It's 2017. So this is the good shit. Red hair days, you know. Kittens help everything. Aww. This <laughs> I'm smiling with my little kitten in this picture, but my life on the outside. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Amidst of the most intense, crazy, DV fucking relationship, whatever the fuck you want to call that. And um, Max was my only friend really at the time. And so I was like, I need to just like do something fun for me. So we went to the Humane Society and just petted cats while I like literally wanted to die inside and hated everything about my life and thought I'd never get out of it. But I did, so when when funny, right? Instagram is definitely not reality all the time. These are all like my active posts. This is what's live right now. This is obviously what I need to address. Um, this is me and Scott Walker. Which, if you don't know him, you're not missing out. But he used to be the state governor of Wisconsin, and he actually made it to my high school when I was there. That's where this photo was taken. And I know some people <laughs> that, that work for the state of Wisconsin. So, you know, the governor's decisions, like, directly impact their lives, like, right away. So when I found out that, you know, he was, like, fucking up my life via their lives, I was like, hmm. This is a really interesting man. You know, what's he all about? And uh, it was rumors. I think it was like second hour. It was early in the morning. People were like, oh my gosh, Scott Walker's in the building. Scott Walker is in the building. He's in the tech ed room. I said, he's where? The bell goes beep. I run to tech ed. I'm dragging Max behind me. Cause I'm like, you gotta take this picture. You gotta take the picture. I don't know why I have a thing for meeting Republicans, but that's where that photo's from. Love, love a uh, good political affiliation here. Um, okay, let's get to the juicy, juicy. Let's go to the archives. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh, like this, this picture. Um, this was with one of my best friends, old best friends at the time, and like, well, this photo, I'm like, schmoozing, mm, like having a good time. Spontaneously, that entire group of bitches was like, um, Mercedes, can you, like, take the picture of all of us? Can you, like, take a group picture of all of us? And, like, of every other group, too? Can you just, like, photograph all of us? And, like, you're not in it, though. Like, I wish I had the balls I had to be in those situations, like, now. Like, now I just leave. Now I don't want to be around anybody. But, like, in those moments, I was like, I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna fucking be here. I love to dissect the energy sh dynamic of a photo obviously it's not the full truth but i think that there's definitely some things to be learned because it's like everybody together and then there's like me and i'm like 
leaning in like, uh, I'm here, I'm part of this. It's like, no bitch, you're not part of this. You're never meant to be part of this. Just leave now while you're ahead, okay? Very crazy day, very crazy. I know this is like kind of sad. I don't talk to any of these people anymore. Some of them, I don't blame them for not wanting to talk to me. I definitely traumatized some of these people. This is so like 2016 coded, okay? <laughs> this picture. Rushing makes me actually look nice, but you can't even use the word rush anymore. Weird, but um, like the button up with the studs, like the skinny jeans with the like canvas wedge toms. Yeah, yeah. I'll include this one, this will be my last one, okay? Um, this was when I was in Europe. And we were in Paris at this time. We were supposed to see Notre Dame, but it was closed for a wedding or something. And it was supposed to be like a seven hour or six hour tour. It was supposed to be like an all day. And it was closed when we got there. We could not do our tour. And so our tour guide was like, all right, have the day to the city. Don't take the metro though. That was the only rule is don't take the metro. And this is also when the US had just legalized gay marriage in 2015. And so everyone was celebrating. There was a huge pride parade. And so we got to like participate in it and it was so fucking sick. I will never forget how awesome it was. This was definitely when I was deep, deep, deep in the closet still. Not even a twinkle in my eye, but it was crazy because um, we saw this dude in this giant blow up wiener costume and we all got a picture with him which I think is hilarious. <laughs> a bunch of 15, 16 year olds taking a photo with a man dressed as a penis on a school trip. Yeah, yeah, it, it get, doesn't get better than that. And I <sighs> well y'all, this, this is kind of my Instagram unpacked. I mean, the other ones, there's not that much of an exciting story behind them. Like, I wish I had a better story to share or a more exciting story to share, but the other ones are all pretty normal. Normal shit can be understood from the face value of what it is and what was going on. But I hope this was at least kind of interesting or funny. I had fun looking back, thinking about some of this stuff, you know. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it greatly. I'm still very much so going through it at this time. Personally, I know, like, I don't know if people read the descriptions on my videos, but I do write up a little bit before I post it. And yeah, I'm just really, really, really going through it right now. In a way I've never gone through it before in my life. So I think that's also why I'm just like... <laughs> I'm confident that something is gonna give soon, but Jesus, help me. For real, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the love and support. I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>